So, uh, first thing I want to say that uh, she said before uh, that uh, I created. No, I did not. It's uh, me and my friends, a group of people did it. So, so, the reason why I am speaking here is this mere coincidence. Actually, there is loads of people involved in these projects that I'm going to explain, and I'm just part of it. Uh, although I'm going to speak about uh, web platform of communication, uh, I try today not too much uh, focus on the technical details. If uh, anybody is interested, they can ask me later uh, how it really works and what's the technical issues with it. But uh, I try to explain you the background and, and the ideology and, and also the place where this uh, idea was conceived. Uh, which is, I think, uh, in this, this type of project, this is the most important. Uh, this is the map of Tallinn. Uh, Tallinn is a city of about 400,000 people. So uh, my examples come from this city because I have been living and working in it. And me, as an uh, architect and city planner, uh, this is one, one of the utopias that, uh, that we are kind of discussing about, that the city would be divided into, into different areas of various in identities. This means identities in spatial nature and also in identities in com uh, communities in general. So it's a kind of utopia of city of communities. But it's just one direction and and, and, and one. This conception is actually not mine, but uh, it is from the uh, city planning competition in Helsinki. Uh, the conception is called uh, Helsinki 2.0, or in case of Tallinn, Tallinn 2.0. So maybe this is the direction that I, I want, uh, or I think that is the right one, at least one of them. But now I start my story. Uh, Six years ago, me and my friends started a local community here in Tallinn. It's called New World. It's the historical name of the district, not, nothing esoterical about it, no, no religious stuff involved. It's just the historical name of the neighborhood because the streets' names in this area uh, were named after the New World and the region became known as New World. It's a region of various architectural nature the main part where we are focused as a community uh, is wooden houses, about 10, 12 apartments each, and uh, about six and a half thousand people live in the whole area. But six years ago, me and my friends um, started thinking that, oh, maybe it's good to know the people who live around you, and started this community action. And, uh, and since then, it has been kind of a great success. It has brought up a uh, revolution uh, in Estonian civil society and, uh, as a whole and has changed a lot of things in, the, in, the, in, this, in this scene. But, um, so what happened six years ago? We were renovating one house, we were on scaffoldings, painting, inviting everybody to join in. And also we had dinners on the street. And one of the main aspects of this uh, uh, new world communities is to use the public space in different ways that it's not only for traffic only but but also we can have parties and and uh, and one of these is the festival time this is the time when we close down the traffic for the whole area uh, we like local people open cafes uh, there are concerts street markets cinemas uh, everything and everything is for free Except the market, people tend to do it themselves. Uh, but but uh, there is no tickets, and there is about uh, about uh, six thousand people go through this festival in two days. And uh, it's if you happen, ever happen to be, uh, come in Thailand, then then please join in the first weekend of September every year. We have a street festival. But uh, as we, we our as this was six years ago when we started, it, uh, it was growing, growing, growing. The, we also had lots of regular events, weekly events, like uh, uh, every week we have a street market, cinema night. Every night we had a cooking uh, event, like, uh, like Dick was explaining before. 
uh, and also uh, a lot of people were uh, kind of comparing our type of community to the Christiana type that was uh, explained to you before. And also the name New World is kind of has this influence. So I always try to explain that this is nothing esoterical, this is just a historical name. Uh, so people were, were kind of inspired by this uh, new world and, and uh, they, lots of these kind of organizations started like, like popping up everywhere as a sign of, in Tallinn, this is the situation now where there are several of these, we started here, so there are several of these communities around and, and the whole notion of a local community and civil society has changed. When we, when we was first started and went to the municipality, then people thought that we are some kind of lunatics. But now, as, as we have quite many people involved, uh, people tend to take us more seriously, and, and we are really kind of managing to, to get things done. Well, let's see, it's a process. <laughs> Six years is a short time, for example, compared to Christiania. Uh, but as these organizations were popping up, uh, lots of problems emerged also. Uh, for example, how to make a website. Because everybody needs some kind of uh, uh, system to keep this communication going on. Uh, and, 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 this kind of, and all these people came to us to ask, that, how did you do it? How did you do it? Well, our case was that we always had a really good uh, web guy with us, because it was a friend of ours. And, and we started kind of innovative web approach since the beginning and maybe this was uh, like a key factor in our success because we are the kind of new generation in community building and we use the new social tools. Uh, and this uh, kind of brought us to the idea that uh, if we are kind of making websites, uh, we wanted to make a good website for ourselves. We needed some customization we needed some special tools. Uh, then we thought, if we are making it uh, for ourselves, why not make it for everybody? So we started a project called Community Tools, which is shortly free websites for communities. But uh, actually, it's a quite a complex platform for, for, for loads of things. Uh, the reason is why we started looking. There are loads of different opinions and different tools available in the web. Uh, as our case was really important was the geographical information in, in communities uh, and the use of this. Uh, and there are loads of different tools for different purposes, but they are not, they're all like, they're single purpose. One tool thing, uh, takes, uh, uses one thing and the other one makes another thing and, and, and combining these is rather difficult. And these are all open source examples. You can all use these. And you can make your own community map on, on, on these systems, but you need programming, you need uh, customization, and this is difficult. So we made a, our platform is, is roughly, this is just a scheme of this uh, kind of platform, that you have the web page in, uh, in the center, the main, main really basic uh, informational tools that are needed for everybody, but the idea is to uh, kind of plug in or uh, kind of have different kind of features like possible to plug in. So if you need one kind of map or, for example, community currency or, for example, crowdsource, uh, crowdfunding or, uh, for example, uh, different uh, apps for city planning, which is my interest, uh, then you can just plug them in if you need it. Uh, so, this is, uh, it's, it, our main idea is that it's focused for local communities, because we started as a local community and, and, and this is our main focus. At this point we have 50 communities using it uh, and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a development process, is uh, kind of like teaching us a lot, because this, this is not that we are, we are making a finished product now, here it is, but it's a process. This is the thing with open source, that, that uh, you, you cannot uh, 
uh, define or, or have the idea that you don't know where it's going exactly. You have the possibility of kind of showing the way a little bit, but, but, uh, but the experience and feedback really makes a difference. So, uh, for example, this is one of the sites that we did. It's for uh, film schools around the Baltic Sea. Uh, they needed some platform of communication and a mapping platform, so they used our software. And uh, this, this platform also can be used not only for communities, but, but also uh, we have examples of municipalities using it. And we also have uh, some corporate uh, users doing the same, and then also some interest-based communities. So this means that although our focus is on the local communities, then, then actually it's much universal, in a sense. So here are one of the examples of the first version of community tools. Uh, this is the, the website of the Old Town community in Tallinn. Uh, and this is a good example because uh, this community would not exist if we wouldn't, we wouldn't have helped them. Because they came to us and said that we want to make something but we don't know how. Uh, then we said, okay, we help you, we'll make you a web page. Uh, and this started this process of com communication within their group. So, so these first steps are the most important in community building. If you get this community like momentum, then, then, then it might work. If you don't, it might not. And this is the example of the local uh, municipality website we did. Uh, it's a city of billion, the city of 40,000 people, uh, where Citizens, uh, our main issue in, in co local communities is that the communication between the municipality and the citizens is quite like not, not very easy. And I don't know, I think it's everywhere like this, that bureaucracy doesn't really ring a bell. So, so we try to help this problem a little bit, so that citizens can, can map their problems and ideas on a map and, uh, and uh, then post it and then the municipality can answer. And it's a more direct way of communication between municipality and the citizen. And, and, but as you can see, uh, this is the first version of uh, community tools. We had a great emphasis on the map and geographical. Although the geographical aspects uh, remain, we are making uh, a new, uh, this new version of uh, community tools, which doesn't have a gr so big emphasis on a map because interface questions are the most important in this kind of web platform and a map is not as important as, 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 as this. So, we just in uh, September now, we released a new version of this uh, software, uh, which is, uh, has a new interface. It's much more uh, user-friendly uh, and it's much more like modular, which means that you, every community can change it and, uh, uh, and develop it to their needs. And also we have started for one and a half year ago, we have started cooperation with uh, Transition Towns, which is the biggest uh, of such organizations of local communities. There is a, over 1,000 cities, I think, involved in the transition movement. So uh, we are starting to build a base platform uh, for, for their needs. So uh, this, this is a, like a big challenge, but also I think it's, it's, it's an interesting, interesting way of doing it. And also we are working together with Community Forge, which is a community organization, uh, which is uh, main aspect is local currencies. So this means that we will make a module of a local currency uh, on top of community tools, and uh, then every community who is using this platform can have a local currency of their own. They don't need uh, to make their own software if we can do it for them and they can use it. So, so I think uh, it can help in the renaissance of local currencies also. Uh, also, one important part of uh, this new version, we have a great emphasis of building on open data. If uh, open data is the data gathered by the municipalities and state and, and then let free so that uh, different kind of web applications can be built upon. So we uh, are also strongly lobbying for open data in Estonia and we are also building a kind of aggregator 
which means we are pulling this public data all around in the big clouds together to the community sites and we can display it in various manners. So, for example, municipalities are fixing a pipe, then you get a message to your phone because this system can do it. But not only pipe <laughs> reparations, but also detailed planning, uh, different kind of information that is linked to the municipality. Uh, and uh, this uh, aggregator will be, I think, ready in a couple of months. Also, if this uh, conference is a lot about crowdfunding, then uh, we are also working together with a uh, Finnish uh, uh, organization called Citra, uh, which has a, this concept of a brick starter. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a concept uh, about uh, basically crowdfunding, but in a more elaborate way. It's not only that you can uh, share, like donate money to this particular project or idea, but you can also, uh, for example, uh, invest your time and, and you can just go to meetings and, 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 uh, and all the possibilities of helping out. And making it in a user-friendly like, user way is really important. And as uh, Helen was talking uh, before about shareables and, and people sharing stuff in one community in, 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 in a geographical neighborhood, then basically this was the conception which we started upon. Uh, we, like in 2008, made in our New World Community website this uh, tool called Staffarium, which is basically we, like people in the neighborhood could share their DVDs, uh, tools, books, and all these kinds of things. But the most important part of this uh, sharing is that uh, one person goes to another and says hello, and the responsibility of sharing is between them two only, not the community, for example. So, thank you. Yeah, so I have for one small question uh, for you. Uh, I was wondering if you're exchanging um, information and knowledge uh, by this uh, tool as well with people from other countries or is more, it's more local? Uh, we in Community Tools, we work quite globally in this way. We have like connections in different uh, parts of the world. So, so we, we work... In this particular project we, we have international contacts most. And uh, what information, for example, you could exchange on, you can find on these maps uh, on yours? Ah, in local community sites, it's really simple. It's, it's whether, whether somebody's uh, bike was stolen or a dog was uh, lost in this region or, 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 or there is a hole in the streets that needs to be fixed. And it's really basic stuff. But I think the most interesting one is that when we make all these little community instances, there is a 50 of them now, but, uh, but I think that there will be more. Uh, the thing is that this can all be linked together in a big map. So, so basically, the final, final product of this process uh, would be a big map of which all these communities can be kind of interlinked. And also this, for example, the conception of local currencies, also the values can be changed and interlinked. So, and this project is open source, so everybody can join in. The last slide is get involved. So, if you have any ideas and, and conceptions. Great. <laughs> Thank you very much.